One of the th questions that patients often ask who in fact do have a recurrence of their breast cancer, what, what can I expect from this? There are a number of variables involved, including one of the most important called the disease-free interval. The disease-free interval is, is defined as the time from the initial treatment, say the mastectomy or lumpectomy, to the time of systemic recurrence. The longer that period of time, the implication is that that's a fairly slow-growing tumor, and that patient has a slow-growing tumor that whose life expectancy will be longer, and in fact, we may be uh, able to predict that a long disease-free interval, in fact, may react better to whatever treatments we then do. The other factors that help us predict are young patients tend to have more aggressive tumors, hormone receptor positive tumors, for which we have a lot more options, will do better. HER2 positive tumors, in fact, may, be a do, may do better than, say, triple negative breast cancers, since we have a number of anti-HER2 drugs to use. The other important issue is the site of metastasis. Soft tissue, such as lymph node and or bone, would be on the good end of the bell curve, predicting a longer survival. If patients, however, present with widespread liver metastasis or lung metastasis, and the worst, brain metastasis, then life expectancy would certainly be much shorter than with bone or soft tissue. The other variable, obviously, that one cannot predict at that point is that ha how that patient's tumor will respond to therapy. If a patient, for instance, who's hormone receptor positive has an excellent long-term response to one hormone, they're more likely to have a response to subsequent hormones and everybody that sees a lot of breast cancer has patients that are out eight or 10 or 12 years with a history of breast cancer. The average survival with metastatic breast cancer is probably around three years. So that there are other patients, for instance, triple negative patients who are hormone receptor, positive, hormone receptor negative and HER2 negative, if they recur with, for instance, a short disease-free interval, Unfortunately, their life expectancy is often less than a year. That would be sort of the worst circumstance. So the variables, variables would be age, disease-free interval, history of prior therapies, sites of metastatic disease, and then prospectively evaluating therapies as one goes along, hoping that each treatment will give a longer rather than a shorter benefit. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.